A study shows gestational diabetes in pregnant women increased between 2011 <coughs> and 2019 here in the United States. We spoke with a doctor about the concerns causing this trend. There are a lot of risk factors for it. Um, some of the risk factors are things that are, are just inherent to the way women are living their reproductive lives. Women are older, and we know age is a risk factor for diabetes. Unfortunately, obesity is a big problem in this country, and that's a major risk factor for gestational diabetes as well as pregestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes develops, by the way, when a pregnant woman's blood sugar levels get too high. It's typically detected around 24 to 28 weeks. Symptoms are rare, but in case, some cases, it may cause frequent urination, nausea, really thirsty, and tiredness. Now, if left untreated, it can increase a pregnant woman's risk of a C-section, preeclampsia, and developing type 2 diabetes. It can also increase the baby's risk of developing breathing problems, obesity, premature your birth and type 2 diabetes. Being the healthiest you can be, there, there's not much we can do about our age if we're going to be older, but being the best weight we can, you know, if you're obese or overweight, that increases your risk. So trying to lose weight, have a healthy lifestyle, those are things that can help reduce that risk. Now, there is medication available to help manage gestational diabetes, but most women can keep their blood sugar levels low through diet and exercise. 